sensors are devices that extract information from the surroundings and translate them to a back-end system. SC Engineering makes lots of sensors. We design and manufacture in-house and we sell them all over the world. Ray has been designing sensors for over a decade. Since I was a child, I love magnets. I was very intrigued by how uh, an invisible force can influence the things around it. I spent lots of time playing with them, all kinds of magnets, even building electromagnets as I got older. And that led me to study electromagnetics. If you think about sensors, the foundation is all based on electromagnetics. To date, Ray and his team have developed and deployed millions of sensors across 70 cities worldwide. They are in systems that can detect a number of environmental cues, from air quality to weather conditions. Ray is now designing sensors for smart lighting systems in residential areas. Smart lighting is a system of lights that can communicate and talk to one another. The circuit board here is like your brain. The sensor here is like your eyes. Your eyes will take in the information from the surroundings, passes it on via signals into the brain, and it analyzes it. Lighting accounts for almost 20% of global energy consumption. A switch to using sensors could see a huge impact. When a person comes close, High-frequency signals automatically detect the motion and sends a signal to the lightning node to automatically brighten up. When the person leaves, the lights will dim, saving up to 60% of energy. The current challenge is to calibrate the sensors to accurately detect human presence. OK, uh, let's go a little bit slower at 500 millimetres per second. We need to be able to sense most types of human motion, whether it be an uh, elderly person that's walking slowly, a young child, or even a cyclist that's cycling past. So at one point, we found it particularly difficult to detect uh, elderly that were walking very slowly. Children is another ball game. Uh, they were fast moving, erratic. Let's speed, Let's speed up. up. 1,500 millimeters per second. Okay. Yeah. We went through at least four to five iterations. Okay, and uh, still counting. As we uh, continue to improve the reliability, it never stops. The team's smart lighting system has been deployed in over 10 estates across Singapore, including TechGi, where over 10,000 sensors have been installed. And plans are in place to roll it out to seven more towns by 2024. In fact, sensors should be used uh, everywhere, even more than what we are using it for now. The needs for sensors just keep increasing. So lots more sensors will be developed with more and more capability and, and, and features. And it will keep going on for the next 20 years, even after I'm retired.